Got the baddest bitch in the city, so don't fuck around. Know them hoses out to get me, they don't hold me down. Know me now, act like you don't know me now. Let my bitch off the purse, she get a hundred rounds. Rounds, hundred rounds, hold me down. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are here with a different type of video. We got a hair tutorial slash story time slash whatever. So I know y'all been requesting me to do these type of videos, so I'm giving it to y'all now. But before I get into the story time, let me just tell y'all something. First of all, this hair was sent to me by VV Baby Hair. I'm gonna link everything down below, y'all know that. This lace was one of the best lace frontals i've ever received in my life out of all the companies that ever sent me here sometimes there's something wrong with the frontal where the knots are too big or it's too thick or whatever the case may be these knots were first of all they were single knotted and i'll do a video about the difference between single knotted and double knotted if you don't know what it is like i said i'll do a video or you could just look it up but um i appreciated that so much it came pre-plucked as well which is another great thing and it was super easy to pluck i decided to like pluck my wigs off camera because sometimes it's very time consuming and i don't know how long it's actually going to take me but it actually did not take me long to pluck this at all so you got to appreciate a good front too that is easy to pluck that's number one number two it was so thick and luxurious i just had a great time with this wig and y'all know i barely rave about certain companies because you know i don't wear to hear that long and stuff like that but so far so good and i was super pleased with how this look turned out so if you are interested in getting you a nice quick little 13 by 6 great knots if you're a beginner you don't know how to pluck that well this this wig came with a lot of a lot of the work came with a lot of the work done y'all know i'll be bugging sometimes my wordplay just be everywhere but anyways i just showing y'all how i styled it on a mannequin head y'all know how i get down i have to mold it and style it on a mannequin head before i put it on my head so i don't have so much work to do when it's time to actually install it or whatever the case may be so i'm gonna put a timestamp on where the story time starts but if you're interested on in seeing how i molded this hair and really got it to lay super flat flat y'all know i don't do the helmet wigs and nothing like that i got this wig super flat and plucked it super natural and oh my god when y'all see the way this wig turned out y'all are gonna be like oh nah i need this so make sure y'all check out all the links down below and yeah the story time will be coming up soon so i hope y'all enjoy this little mini tutorial right now Alright y'all, so I just thought about this story, um, this situation that I had went through a few years ago, and I mean when I think about it now, I can laugh, but in the moment when it happened, yo, I just knew my life was over. Like, you ever had a situation when you caught your partner doing something, and you just be so distraught and just so betrayed and just feeling all these emotions you just like damn like you give it up like that word like that's crazy so that's how i was feeling so one day well not well yeah one day um me and my boyfriend at the time we was already um going through it in our relationship and we was just in a space at the time where we just wanted to well i feel like i just wanted to just 
be good like i don't want to have to worry about what you're doing i don't want to have to worry about your attitude like i just want us to have a good night go out on a date or something like you know the regular stuff and that's what i expected to happen so we decided to go roller skating and i was hype about that because i'm just like yeah we barely go out on dates and i just want to feel like you my man you know what i'm saying so what wound up happening is yeah we went um roller skating but the type of dudes i mess with like they just so hood like they just they can't go anywhere like you always they always got like absorb absorb oh my god observe the area and see what's going on who there see if there's any ops around like you know all my life like since i really started seriously dating men all i date is like like gangsters or gangbangers or drug dealers like i'm not even gonna cap for y'all scammers scammers is the top one i think i dated more scammers in my life than anybody um and surprisingly never partook or partaken in any activities let me just put that out there for people be like uh-uh girl you be scamming nah i don't anyway so that's what happened and we got there and he just wasn't feeling the scene like it was only me and me and him and we got there and it was just so much people and it was packed like so much people in there and it was looking real mixy like you don't know who might be in there so he was just not jacking it from then like he just was like nah i'm not feeling this like we gotta go so i already fake had an attitude because it's like oh my god like we could never go nowhere it's always something it's always something and i was getting mad annoying to me so yeah, I'm just like, why we can never go nowhere without it being a problem? Like, that gets mad annoying after a while. Because you still, like, you know what you signed up for when you date a certain person. But it's just like, after a while, it's like, alright, so if we got to be super cautious about how we move in, I'm with it. But just now you pick the activities. What you think is more safe for us to do or places for us to go? Like, at least make some plans. Like, he wasn't really jacking that. Now that I think about it, he just probably was cheating anyway. But we'll get to that part of the story. We wound up going home or whatever the case may be. We just watching movies on Netflix. So, um, <laughs> we was watching Netflix. Obviously, didn't uh, actually watch the movie, if you could read between the lines. And, um, I, I don't know if I fell asleep or I just quick, like, took, like, a baby nap. I don't know. I don't remember what exactly happened. This was mad long ago. But... I woke up and he was sleeping and the way we was sleeping like he was holding me and his phone was like right there and it's like you ever had that urge like when you with somebody that you just unsure of what they got going on in their phone like you feel like they live in a whole different life or whatever the case may be you just like some moments God just be like you be like God did you put this phone here for a reason like what god like what you what 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 like tell me tell me should i go through the phone should i not go through the phone uh but then again if i go through the phone am i ready for what i might see like i don't know and me the way we was going through things i just felt like i knew i was gonna find something i wasn't ready for what i found but <coughs> i wasn't ready for what i found but I was just like i know i'm gonna find something and i know we just kind of fake had a good night or whatever the case may be but this is my chance like this is my opportunity like you be so low-key about it and now I feel like I finally got your ass so I said well I feel like God told me to go through that phone so I'm gonna go through the phone so at the time oh people probably gonna know I don't care so what happened was <laughs> I tried to put his face ID on the phone and Face ID don't work unless their eyes is open, and I never knew that. So I'm like, fuck. I'm like, should I try to open his eyes? When I get in those type of like situations, I be thinking of the craziest stuff. Like, should I try to do this? Maybe hop, skip over that. Like, what should I do? What should I do? So that wasn't working. He was sleeping mad heavy, like snoring and everything, like blowing on. So I just said, all right, let me guess this password. So I said, what could the password password possibly be? Like, what could it possibly be? I don't know. 
And I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, I don't know. And I, he's literally holding me. So he's behind me and I'm holding the phone in front of me. So all it takes is one wrong move. He peek up his eyes, he see like his phone is in my hand. So I'm just like, oh my God, should I hurry up? Like think, 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 think of something. So I wound up typing in my birthday. And I feel like I thought that because I believe we had the passwords to each other's phone. Um, I think prior, I don't know if it was prior to and then I figured he changed it or he told me one time like when we was doing good. I don't remember how I just automatically thought to just put my birthday but I did. Thank God, right? So, oh my God y'all. I, I typed in my birthday and the phone opened. Oh my God, I said, yep, God, that's God, yep, I'm doing what you told me to do. You you told me this was the password, and I put it in the phone, and I got it. God, you was telling me to go through the phone, so let me do it. So let me just give y'all some game real quick. And if you don't know this, then I just put you on. But if you do, you know that's like one of the top things to do when you're going through somebody's phone. Well, most likely a dude, because I don't know. Well, I want to say I don't know, but yeah. So most likely when you're going through a dude phone, you got to go through the group chat. That's number one. You got to go on a social media account that he doesn't post you on or the one that he just looks super single on. And let me just tell y'all this too, before I even finish that, if you with somebody that you got to do all that with, just break up with them. Like, don't be with them. It's really not worth it. But at the time, I, I was in a situation where I knew I was getting cheated on somehow. I just didn't know exactly what it was, but I wasn't ready to leave yet. And that's mad toxic, mad toxic. So I would not, I'm not encouraging this. I'm just telling my story. But for the people who just want to know, y'all know I'm always put y'all on game, period. And that's just what that is. So I get into the phone. I don't remember where I went first, but I know I went through the group chat. I know I went through regular text messages. And I think why I was really mad is because nothing was hidden. Like nothing was like, oh, you got to go through a secret. Something like the game I just told y'all. I mean, it was there, but... Like, it wasn't there, there. Like, I mean, it was there, but I didn't really have to search too hard for it. So, I was just like, okay. So, now what? Cool. So, I went through his group chat. I went through his text messages. Um, I typed my name in his text messages. I typed in head, sex. Um, what else I typed in? Put, mm, cat. I typed in, um, what else did I type in? Um, I typed in something, but I found out mad stuff. I went on his Snapchat. <sighs> Y'all, let me tell you something. I went through that Snapchat, and at, by this time, we was together for a little minute. So, I had a lot to look through in such a little time. So, as I'm going through the phone, I'm literally, like, taking pictures of stuff on my phone because I didn't want it to make the screenshots and I know I could have turned it down but I just didn't want to risk it so I muted the phone like turned the sound on, on the side I took the pictures of everything on my phone so I don't have to do an extra step by going in his phone to delete it so I just was taking pictures of it off my phone and if I if I felt you know, I don't know why I'm sniffling but I don't got the wrong in case anybody was wondering but um yeah I don't um what you call it? Oh my god, I forgot where I was going. But yeah, so I went through the Snapchat. Like I said, we've been together for a while, so I had to really look through the phone. Oh yeah, I was saying that um instead of going through all these extra steps, I just took the um picture I took pictures of what I was looking at and all the cheating things that he was doing, so I don't have to delete them on his phone if you ever see that um I was looking through his phone. I was closing apps and everything. Every time like I would feel him jump or something like that. I would like pretend like I was asleep. Like, oh my God, I was so, oh my God. Why was I even? <sighs> Y'all, I be feeling bad for me sometimes, but then again, I don't. Because it's just like, girl, you knew to leave him and you didn't. So, you know, but we all go do like dumb faces, whatever. So I, oh my God, y'all, I had so much stuff in my phone. I could make an album out of it, like a whole photo album. Like it was so much stuff. He was in there telling girls that, um, like, in public, he was just cool with, like, just friends with. He was telling them, um, oh, I love you. 
the girl is like, oh, um, you be acting mad funny, like stuff like that. I'm seeing text messages like, oh, come downstairs. I'm downstairs. I got the kid. I'm saying like, got the kid. Who the f Yo, what? When I saw that I love you and he told somebody else, like, and it was somebody, <clears throat> it was somebody that he knew for a long time and somebody I was aware that he was cool with. And at that point, I didn't know they was dealing with each other and I believe oh boom this girl um i don't know oh i addressed it after the celebration it was like a um new year celebration and i addressed it then and then did you know what this nigga bro and i know the story about to be everywhere but i'm just telling y'all like as i remember it so this one girl like this one thing i saw on the phone with this girl um I told, I pressed him about it. He like, oh, it's not even like that. That's my friend, but I'm not dumb. When I see what I see, I see what I saw. Don't play with me. Like, and I'm not the one that be like, oh, maybe it did me. No, it meant exactly what it looked like it said. Like, exactly what was there is exactly what you meant. So, he gonna call his girl and be like, yo, right we just friends? Right we just friends? Why are you playing with me? Like, now you playing with me because I couldn't pull that off. I couldn't pull that off. What? Oh my god. And this I hate the double standards nowadays. Boys feel like you could you supposed to just forgive them so fast and everything's supposed to just be cool. No. So he gonna call like, oh why we friends, why we friends? This fucking bitch on the phone gonna be like, yeah, nah, like you like family. Or she said something like that. Like, yeah, we just friends, like da da da. I hate. See one thing about it, I don't like but mm. Let me not curse, because I'm thinking about it. I'm not getting tight, but I'm getting tight at how I'm remember how I felt in the moment and it's just really getting me going. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, she playing with me? Like now I feel like me, you got beef, because girl, you sitting here sticking up for him and you want to be with him according to the text messages, but you see how he doing me. So you think you sticking up for him is going to help you be with him because whatever he doing me, to me, he's going to do to you. You get him how you lose him, dummy. Like, that pissed me off in the moment. I'm like, she, yo. I said, get off the phone. Get off the phone. Like, I, I just, I was not jacking that. So, boom. That was just with that situation. Then he was talking with this other girl who always be on my body, like, under my post, like in my pics, commenting on my stories, like everything on my body. And I knew she used to mess with him um, back in the day. And she was really nothing hot, to be honest with you. Like, let's just be completely honest here. She was really nothing hot. Nothing hot at all. So I'm sitting here thinking, like, are you serious? Like, this is what you messing with? Oh, what? Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? Like, oh, my neck is about to break with all this extraness. But yeah, that's what was going on. So I was just so over it, y'all. I'm like, this is what you messing with? Then you paying for, um, you know the girls that be having private snacks and stuff like that? You paying for private snacks of regular, just bummy, just ugh, looking girls. Like, oh, I was so disgusted, bro. Oh my god, you paying for this, and then you telling this girl you love her, you linked her, I'm saying you linked her. Um, you talking, you talking back and forth flirting with this girl who's like nobody that really be on my body. When I tell you that Cardi B song, um, um, I went through your phone last night. That song, oh, I used to sing the, yo, I was singing a hell out of that song, right? So, um... Yeah, I was so mad about that because I was mad that it was happening, but I was really mad too at who these people were. Because it's just like, I knew it, but, ew. Like, you really could have did way better. Like, not even saying, like, you shouldn't be doing that at all, but you could have did way better. So, then I also saw this other girl in there, and I, these things had, like, the girls in this phone had, like, nicknames and stuff. So, um, I didn't really know who they was until I really read the text messages or looked through the, like, the attachments or something like that right so I'm looking through this one girl text messages and I didn't know who she was so I went through the media and the attachments another girl that's on my body she sent him some nudes so I saved those nudes now I wasn't gonna be day room and post them as much as I wanted to because I know this girl knew that that was my man but at this point he was for everybody so I couldn't 
I already was in a toxic situation. I didn't want to leave him. I knew he was doing certain things. I just didn't have no proof. So that's really what that was about. So then I'm looking. Now I'm searching for girls that I just wasn't feeling how he was talking with them on social media. Like I thought it was a little bit too friendly or I heard something about or something like that. And he's telling them, and mind you, oh my god, y'all, it's like I have so many story, like toxic story times. Nowadays, I'm really a changed person, but, um, and I still be going through shit sometimes, but nowadays, I don't, my standards are way higher now. Like, I don't, I don't deal with a lot of things I used to deal with or whatever. So, um, one of the girls that he really used to be, like, I felt flirting in my face, but I'm like, am I overreacting? Like, was it just friendly and all this stuff? And this was years ago. Like, my mindset, like, really changed a lot. So, I'm looking at the, um, I'm looking at the text messages, and he's writing her, like, oh, when you gonna let me take you out, we gonna dress up, we gonna do this. I could've strangled him in his sleep. Cause I'm like, I got this girl on social media too, and you sitting here saying I'm bugging and laughing at me, or whatever the case may be, in, in y'all group chat. And, oh, yeah, she's mad insecure. Like, and nigga, I'm not insecure. You're literally doing exactly what I thought you was doing. And that's one thing I don't like about dudes sometimes. They try to make you seem like you really bugging when you really know what's up. But men have a way with words sometimes. And you would just really sit there and be like, am I bugging? Like, you know, and that's why whatever you feel or your woman's intuition, let me tell you something. Nine times out of ten is right. Period. And I'm not trying to sit here and advocate for people being toxic or messy or whatever. But look, we all go through relationship problems. So it is what it is. But so, yeah, he was telling her like, oh, when we going to um, go on a date, da, 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 da. And that really hurt me because I'm like, nigga, I be trying to get you to go on dates all the time. And you just so busy or you going to see or you not around or something like it was always something. And it's like, all right, if you're going to be acting like this with me. We be breaking up. Why do you be running back? Like, why do you keep coming back to me if you clearly don't want to be me and you want to mess with everybody else? But then, as I think about it over the years, he came back because I allowed him to. And he knew I was the only one who was going to really hold him down. And I was wifey. I was the girl you bring around your family. I'm the girl that um, you could trust with money or trust to do certain things. Like, I was just that girl. So that's why he came back and I allowed him to do it. And one thing about it... A guy is always gonna do what you are, he's always gonna do what you allow. And let me not even say guys, because sometimes girls be ain't it either, but we not talking about us right now. So I was just so heartbroken over that. Um what else I did? Oh my god, I remember one time I went through his phone again, and this was like a month or two after I went through his phone before. Yes, I stayed with him. I was so dumb. Like, but I can see that now, and I feel like I'm a little bit better. Not even a little bit. I'm a lot better with stuff like that. I don't tolerate a lot of BS. You feel me? But I went through his phone again a few months after because we had to talk about it. I pressed him about everything or whatever the case may be. And let me tell y'all something. Why did I find out? That this man, first of all, all right, he went to uh, an event out of state, and um, I, ooh, I'm just thinking about it right now. Like, stop playing with me. I hate when people play with me. Like, Y'all see, I'm a little ooh, like something not right with me when people try to play with me. I keep trying to explain this to people. When he was going to this event, right? Um, I was already skeptical about it because I'm just sitting here like, yo, um, something don't seem right. Something don't seem right, but he was calling me. He was keeping me updated at certain points. Like, you know, so I'm like, all right, Shania, you could ease up a little bit. You know, just trust him. He's calling you. Like, check, making sure, like, he checking in and all that. So, maybe you overreacting. Like, I know he not the most trustworthy person, but just, you know, just chill out. And don't stretch yourself and, you know, whatever. So, I did so. Then, me being me, I go on his snap. He's driving in a car. Mind you, he went with his friends. He's driving in a car four in the morning on his dolly. I said, okay, I'm not stupid. You came to, you went out of state with your friends and you just so happened to be driving around at four in the morning by yourself 
do I look dumb to you? So either he went, he's going to a link or he's coming from a link. There's no reason you're going to be out of state driving around on your dolly without your mans. Especially the type of dude he was. You cannot go nowhere without your friends or without other stuff, if you know what I mean. So, make it make sense, the fuck? So, I pressed him about it. He like, um, I don't even remember if he wrote me back or not. This was a while ago, so I don't know. But, so that situation happened. And, um, I was, I, like, my anxiety was just through the roof. Because it's like... What if he is just going to get something to eat? Like, I'm trying to tell myself everything else knowing that it's exactly what I think it is. So, granted, um, I didn't, I never knew what happened. And then I remember on his friend's snap, because you know when your man goes somewhere, you watch everybody's snap. You want to, and if they tag people, you want to watch they snap. If they page private, you want to find somebody that y'all both following. Yo, let me use your account or make a fake account or follow them or whatever the case may be. It's always going to be something. So... Um, on his friend's snap, he in the back of the seat, drunk, pissy drunk. Um, his pants unzipped and all that, he just passed out, and I'm like, you look so treachy. Like, I was just so disgusted and turned over, and I just knew in my heart and soul that something wasn't right. Lo and behold, I hope I said that right. I probably didn't say that right. Um, but basically, now, when I had went through his phone, at two months after the initial went through his phone situation, um, I found out that this nigga had a threesome and came right back to me. Came right back to me. I said, see, this is that shit. This is that shit I be talking about. And we was doing kind of good at the time. So when I went through his phone, it just took me back and I didn't even want to be there no more. Like, I didn't want to be around him. I was so mad. So, boom, back to the first time when I went through his phone. I saw the, oh, he telling another girl, like, I love you. And he's not the most affectionate person so for him to say that it had to mean something and that's why i heard it even more you feel me so i'm just like yo i can't believe this boy like i found so much that he was flying with his a lot of his exes a lot of people he was telling me oh don't worry about and stuff like that and now i'm sitting here like so i wasn't bugging for no reason let me tell you something i just got up I didn't even fight him, and I wanted to throw the phone at his face. Like, I really wanted to fight him, because I just felt like, you really insulted my intelligence. Like, you you really you really got the right one today. So, I ain't even say nothing, y'all. I just tossed his phone on the bed. I got dressed, and I left. And he like, what happened? He got up, because he heard me, like, wrestling. And I'm pretty sure there was a point in time where I was wrestling a lot, just because I don't think he was waking up. I wanted him to see me leave. I was mad dramatic. I wanted him to see me leave, and um, he was like, what happened? Where you going? What happened? What happened? And I was like, don't say nothing to me. Like, don't say nothing to me. Like, I was so mad. I was like, don't say shit to me. We're done. Like, don't say nothing to me. And I learned nowadays, don't tell a nigga you done if you're really not done with him. Because they use that excuse to really go fuck with somebody else and be like, oh, you said we was done. All right? So, yeah. Um, so... That happened. Um, I wound up leaving, and then I can't say too much details because people will try to put two and two together, and I don't got time. I'm not ready here to bash nobody, but this is my story tip. So, yeah, after that situation happened, I just left, and I went home, yo. I was crying on my way home. Like, I was just so hurt and upset because it's like, damn, you really didn't have to do me like that. Like, I already be 10 toes with you, and I've been 10 toes with you from the beginning, and this is how you do me, bro. And it just got me to the point where, damn, like, am I a bad girlfriend? Like, am I not doing enough for my man? Like, you know, whatever. And I have to really accept the fact that, number one, stop always thinking it's you. Because it really don't be you. Some men just don't, just, some men just can't help being like that like and that's not an excuse but i just feel like we uh, us as women are really hard on ourselves when i men cheat because it's like what's wrong with me like am i not a good girlfriend or whatever case may be and it really don't be you sometimes also a, a man is gonna change for who he want to change for so if he not changing for you i'm not saying he don't love you or nothing like that but you know he just he just probably just still want to do his thing or still in his little whatever so yeah, I was y'all. I was so sad, bro. I ain't laugh for days. I didn't smile for days. No pun intended, but like I was just so hurt, bro. I was so over it. But what wound up happening happening after the fact, 
I forgot when we started talking again, but I never, I don't think I said anything about it until um, that day he had called Shorty like, oh, do we talk or write you my means? He said something like that. I forgot what he said already. But, um, yeah, I don't believe I said nothing into that day. And I don't know why I did that because we was moving on to a whole big, bigger step within a few days. So, that was mad annoying. But, yeah, y'all. More of the stories, don't go through no do phone. Don't go through nobody phone unless you're ready to li literally catch a heart attack. Especially if you're not going to be ready for what you're about to see. You got to be, like, real careful. And I learned so much. And I just always felt like, too, as a woman, like, if you if you with me and you feel like you got to do all this with me, then why do you keep begging for me back? I'm going to change. I'm sorry. Why do you do all that if you know you really want to do you? And it's one thing if they just try to slide back and you automatically just let them in. But you're really putting up a fight and they really going hard to get you back. And they get you back and be on the same. Like, what am I here for, bro? And it gets so tiring, especially over the years. You just be so over it. Like, bro, just leave me alone. Yeah, just be like, you know, just go do your thing. Like, if you really want to be single, go do your thing. But you acting like... You so destroyed and you can't be without me and all this other stuff. Dude, go away. Like, go be a hoe. What you need me here for? Like, you feel me? But I don't know. Like I said, what you allow will continue. And I allowed a lot of things. And guess what? They continued. And I was dread and I feel like I wasted my time. But we all go through things in life. And sometimes you got to just be like, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and bash myself or be super hard on myself. Because when you in love... Love can be very blinded, and in that situation, I was so blinded by love to the point where his friends was calling me dumb, and they wouldn't, they never said that to my face. Like, they was mad cool, but I remember we was having a conversation one day, and he was like, yeah, I'm not going to front. They be saying, you mad dumb for staying with me, right? And when he said that, that was a big, like, that was a big eye-opener, like, yeah, I got to get out of here. Like, I ain't like that comment. I know we was having a little heart-to-heart -heart or whatever, but... I ain't like that comment. I was not feeling that. So, yeah, y'all. Like I said, don't be going through these dudes' phones. And if you feel like you're in a relationship where you got to go through their phone, it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Especially after the fact. Because now you're like, I don't went through their phone and I'm not even ready to leave. So, does that make me dumb? And it's like, I want to address it right now. But if I address it right now and stay with you, now it's just like you got another reason to not respect me and keep doing what you're doing because I'm not even putting up a fight. You feel what I'm saying? So just follow your intuition always and understand that it just might not be you, bro. Sometimes, all right, maybe you're not doing certain things the right way or whatever. He just feel like whatever. But most of the time, these men just do what they want to do because they can. And if you don't give him the opportunity to be able to do it, then either he's going to dip or he's going to get it right and y'all going to be Gucci. So, yeah. Anyways, um, that was pretty much the story time when I went through my ex's phone and I did not smile for days. Like... And every time I hear stuff like that, I be so weak. But then I think about when that happened to me. And I really was miserable for days. Like, I ain't want to laugh. My friends are mad funny. My friends are hilarious. And they kept trying to make me laugh. And I just couldn't, like, do it. And if I did, I felt like I'm still hurt. And I also have a mindset nowadays where it's like I choose to have a good day. Like, you could be going through the worst thing ever. But at the end of the day, it might hurt so bad. And I guess the situation varies. But I'm trying to have a better control on my emotions. I feel like I let my emotions get the best of me sometimes. And I'm just over it. I'm not letting nobody make me have to go through all day being miserable and moping around and stuff. Nah, I want to have a good day too. Because you know when somebody puts you through something and then you watch what they got going on on a story or something they be having a time of their life like he don't care about me or you know how we do that dumb stuff no he did something or whatever the case may be or me and him going through something i look i'm not in the mood to have no bad day so i'm gonna choose to have a good day and it's really not that easy y'all i look let me tell y'all something i'm the queen of letting stuff bother me for like days and days and days and days and nowadays mm-mm do he did what he did? All right, cool. I'm going to remember that. 
cool. And then you just go about your business. Like, all right, I'm, remember, I'm always had the last laugh. And I tell myself this all the time because guess what? I always have the last laugh. It may not be today, may not be tomorrow, may not be next month. Shoot, it may not even be next year, but just know I'm gonna always have the last laugh. And once you have the last laugh, make that be the last laugh and don't deal with them no more. Take that advice from me because, yeah. All right, y'all, so I just went ahead and bumped the ends, as y'all can see right here. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed this toxic story time. Y'all know I got toxic story times for days. Jesus Christ, that's terrible, but it is what it is. Here's a close-up of the hairline, bodied, of course. And yeah, this is the look. I'm about to go change my clothes and get the thing started. Oh, please, let's do a close-up. I know my part a little crooked right here, but that's okay. We got to really talk about this. This is the power of transparent lace. I'm telling you. Anyways, I will see y'all in my next video. Once again, this hair is from VB Baby Hair. And I will leave the links down in the description box of all the information and the exact link to this look and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a discount code so make sure y'all use that if y'all wanna mm, little money off okay i'ma see y'all in another story time and i'ma definitely see y'all in another video bye loves